Well, I think the wire saw is probably considered state of the art for doing what it does. You look at it as kind of a simple tool, but it does a great job. It basically has a drive wheel. And as you can see, the diamond wire wraps around the drive wheel. It's fairly large so that we have a bigger surface area contact. When you're setting up the wire saws to make a cut, it requires installing a lot of pulleys and a lot of shivs. So those all have to be bolted to the footing or to the wall section that we're lifting out. We core drilled two inch holes on top of the footing. And we've ran wire through those two inch holes to make vertical cuts in the structure to size the pieces so it fits within the load capacity of the crane, which is about 100,000 pounds. There's a huge amount of coordination that's required. It couldn't be done without a competent diving operation. They are really the key. They're our hands and they're our eyes. We got a single pulley here to run wire down from our two inch hole that is about four inches off the footing. And we're trying to get flush cut uh, with our wall pieces down to the footing. The wire saw is an incredible tool. I mean, you can cut concrete with high pressure water, but with the wall thicknesses, as thick as they are on this, six feet thick, I mean, this would be the tool to use. Global's one of the best companies around for doing this kind of work. There's a lot of talented people at Global who can do really any kind of job in any marine environment.